Hey guys, welcome to another video and this one is a bit unusual, it's gonna be disassembly video. Normally I wouldn't record a video like this, but if you look at my most popular videos, which is episode 3, and it's about Palit RTX 2060 Super, you will notice in the comments that many people ask about disassembly of the card. I find it a bit surprising because there's nothing unusual or difficult about disassembling this card. But here we are again and well, I don't have the exact same card, but what I have here is the PNY RTX 2060 Super and why it's here because before it was pallet, well it turns out that the layout of this card is exactly the same, like the PCB, the board and even even the screw holes are identical. So I'll try to put a, a comparison picture to show you this card and that other card from episode 3 to show you that it's actually identical. The only difference is actually backplate which is missing here. Not sure if it was missing. That's how I got the card, but I don't think there was any backplate here. A pallet had plastic backplate on this, but actually the as I said, the, the screw holes, everything, the layout is exactly the same. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna uh, disassemble the card with you, show you how it's done and well maybe someone will find it useful. Okay so here we have the card and let me disassemble. So basically what we have, we have four main screws that are holding uh, the heatsink around the core and there are some additional screws uh, around here which are holding the heatsink as well but like making sure the contact is, is even on, on the entire surface not on not only on the core because it's also uh, cooling memory and, and VRMs so yeah I mean that's pretty simple it's gonna be pretty quick I'm not even bother uh, you know to rewind the video it's gonna be super quick to disassemble so we have those four screws here let's remove it like so um, yeah and then we have one two three there should be a screw as well and it was on, on pallet it was missing here I don't know why but that's fine yeah so let's just remove them one by one one screw two screws three screws there should be four of here fifth one here Six, seven, eight, nine. Um, yeah, and that looks like all of the screws were removed. And I mean, there's nothing more here. Then, then unscrewing all the screws on this side. Not sure if on Palette it was the same. The screw holes were in the same places exactly, but maybe the the heatsink. I, I don't know. Maybe screws were on the other side. I don't think so. But but yeah, most likely it was identical. So and now it's already done. The only thing you need to do. Well, actually, I need to do make sure that we have the focus on the card, okay. Um, basically you just pry it gently so the the heatsink will stick to the PCB sometimes quite well so it feels like it's it's still you know joined together with the screws but it actually it's not so what you have to do you have to try to slowly 
remove it from on, the, on one side. Actually, maybe let's try on this side. Slowly detach the heatsink from the PCB slowly. Just apply pressure a little bit more, a little bit more and, and move. Okay, here we go. And don't, you know, you know tear it apart like, like, you know, don't drag it too much because you can rip off the connectors that are here. So we have one uh, LED connector for the for this stri stripe right here and also we have two fan connectors so we just need to remove them gently uh, the best way would be probably to, uh, to just put it on on the desktop like this and just slide one of them the rest is actually has, has longer cables so it's even easier Let's unplug the the LED. Okay, and then the second fan in the middle. It's not that easy, but well, it's not difficult either. So uh, you just need to wiggle it a little bit. Hold the on both sides. It's not that easy. Okay, done. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So yeah, not sure if you're interested. I assume the heatsink is ex exactly the same as well. I don't remember, but I think so. And so, so some people asked about the thermal pads. I assume those are original ones. I'm, I'm not sure either, but should be. The paste is well spread. So let me also measure the, the thermal pads and I'll get back to you. Okay, so we have the car disassembled and we can measure the thermal pads. So, not sure, you probably cannot see it, but from my perspective it's, it's more visible. So, we have basically three sizes of, of the thermal pads here. So, here on the memories, one, then a little bit thicker here, that was on the on the VRM for memory here and the same is on the VRM for the uh, for the GPU and also there's one on, on the coils and th this one is uh, the slimmest so um, actually let me grab the this one so we have a little bit here and it's not covering anything so I can just take it off and let's measure the thickness of it. Um, so my meter is actually zeroed, so just to show you that. And we can open it and measure this to the camera. 0 0.8, I think it's a little bit squeezed, so I think putting one millimeter is probably fine. Let me try in a different place. Yeah, 0 0.8. So I would say one millimeter should be fine if, if it's gonna squeeze a little bit. Then we have the memory, so I have to take it off actually. And measure it like this, zero. And then let's try at the edge, 1.8. So again, I would say it's two millimeters, 1.7, but it, only if I squeeze it, probably in the thicker, uh, it, yeah, so it's two millimeters, I would say. Um, let me put it back in place, and yeah, probably this one's gonna be easier to measure and remove and put back on. So let's try like this, and again zero, and let me measure it in the thickest place, which is not squeezed. 2.3 so again I would say 2.5 is, is the size oh actually is it yeah 2.5 I would say because if I put it next to this one 
I can feel it slightly thicker. So if this one is two millimeters, this one is two point five. Let me put it back in place and well I guess that's the end of the video hope you enjoyed it and maybe someone will find it useful if so hit the like button and subscribe the page thank you